The high voltage and high current used by microwave ovens pose a substantial risk for injury or death if you disassemble them to access parts. Microwaves should always be unplugged before attempting any disassembly or repairs. But since high voltage capacitors used in microwaves may retain a charge even after the oven has been unplugged, we recommend that only experienced professionals access, test, and replace internal components. If you suspect that a microwave switch has failed, you can test the switch for continuity. A continuity test will determine if a continuous electrical path is present in the switch. Switches come in many shapes and sizes, but all of them can be tested for continuity. You can choose from a variety of multimeters to perform the test. For this demonstration, we will use both analog and digital models. When using an analog model, first rotate the range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Then calibrate the meter by pinching the probes together while adjusting the needle to read zero. When using a digital model, again rotate the dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance or resistance with tone if your meter has this option. Before you begin, make sure the switch you're testing has been removed from the appliance. Three terminal switches will have a common terminal, a normally closed terminal that provides continuity before the switch is actuated, and a normally open terminal that provides continuity after the switch is actuated. The common terminal is usually designated by the letters COM, the normally closed terminal by the letters NC, and the normally open terminal by the letters NO. To test the switch, use a probe to touch the common terminal and the second probe to touch the normally open terminal. Now actuate the switch. If the meter reading shows zero ohms of resistance, the switch has continuity. If the needle does not move or the digital display does not change significantly, there is no continuity, which means the switch is defective. Repeat the test for the normally closed terminal to determine if it has continuity. Keep in mind that the normally closed terminal should only provide continuity before the switch has been actuated. Likewise, the normally open terminal should only provide continuity after the switch has been actuated. If a terminal tests positive for continuity when it should not, it's likely that the switch has shorted closed and will need to be replaced.